name of Flo. And I'm Ashley Jarrell. And today's date is April the 20th, 2016. We'll be looking at two important aspects of Amazon when it reports earnings Thursday, April 28th after the bell. The two drivers on the earnings call are Amazon Web Services, AWS, and Amazon Prime. The most recent research report reveals that Amazon has 54 million Prime members in America. That's 38% of American households. Amazon Prime members spend twice as much money as non-Prime members. And this is in addition to the $99 Prime membership fee collected by Amazon annually. Prime equals 70 billion of the 107 billion, billion revenue generated by Amazon if you count the spent by Prime members shopping on the site. On, that, on Monday, the day when Netflix released earnings, Amazon revealed two new ways people can sign up for Prime. One option is a monthly $8.99 service for standalone for standalone Amazon streaming. The second option is a $10.99 month, 99 cents for the for month for the entire Prime service. Both monthly options can be canceled anytime without penalty. Signing up for the $99 annual fee gives you a 25% discount. The flexibility of monthly fees may attract lower income families to sign up. And it comes at the right time since rival Netflix is raising up their month is raising their monthly rates. AWS accounts for 50% of Amazon's operating income and pioneered public cloud over 10 years ago. It runs 10 times the computing capacity of the next 10 cloud providers, even as Microsoft, Azure, and Google Cloud become formidable competitors. Amazon stock propel higher if Prime can propel higher if Prime and AWS continue to show excellent growth on the earnings call Thursday, April 28th. Thank you for watching and please like, please subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye.